everyone and welcome back to Attic Train 769. Today we are talking about the CNO K4 class of Berkshires. Um, the CNO Railway had their K4 class of Berkshires, which were 284 wheel arrangements. They purchased them during and shortly after World War II. And unlike many railroads in the United States, the CNO chose to nickname their class of Berkshires, Kanawas, after the river in West Virginia rather than the Berkshires after the region in New England. The Kanawas during 19, the 1940s, uh, the K4s were built to haul heavy freight service and were used mostly for high speed freight and passenger service throughout the northeast regions of the United States and part of uh, Canada by the when they merged with the Pierre Marquette. The CNO class K4s were one of the most recognizable uh, 284 Berkshire class in North America along with the Pierre Marquette class N Berkshires and Nickel Plate Road class S Berkshires. Uh, the CNO locomotives were manufactured by the Lima Locomotive Works in Lima, Ohio. The Nickel Plate 779 was the last standard gauge Berkshire to be built in the world and the last steam locomotive built by the Lima Locomotive Works. The, uh, the Berkshires, or the Kanawas, as the CNO would call them, were a successful locomotive and were popular with the crews. So popular that they were referred to as the Big Mikes. The CNO K4 Kanawas aren't the only Berkshires of their size left. We got Pierre Marquette's numbers 12, 23, 12, 25, and Nickel Plate Road 755, 757, 759, 763, 765, and 779. Those are the other preserved Nickel Plates or Berkshires in the United States. But there's 12 of the uh, preserved Kanawas in the United States from the CNO. First one being 2700, which is in Denson, Ohio, at the Denson Depot Railroad Museum. 2705, which is in Baltimore, Maryland, at the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Museum. 2707, which is at the Illinois Railroad Museum in Union, Illinois. Uh, 2716, which is the most famous of all the Kanawas, uh, that's undergoing restoration for the, with the Kentucky Steam Heritage Group in Riviana, Kentucky. 2727, which is at the National Transportation Museum of St. Louis, Missouri. 2732, which is at the Science Museum of Richmond, Virginia. 2736, which we have the model right there, which is on display at the National Railroad Museum in Green Bay, Wisconsin. 2755, which is at Chief Logan State Park in Logan, West Virginia. 2756 is at Huntington Park in Newport News, Virginia. 2760, which is at Riverfront Park in Lynchburg, Virginia. 2776. Uh, that's at the Washington Courthouse in Ohio, or Washington Courthouse, Ohio. 2789 was at the Hoosier Valley Railroad Museum in North Judson, Indiana. And that was the last canal built for the CNO Railroad. So now that we're here and we're talking about Kanawas, we'll talk about 2716, which I have a model of 2716 there in the background that's weathered. That is the most notable out of the Kanawa class uh, of locomotives. The Chesapeake, and, uh, uh, the Chesapeake and Ohio 2716 ran uh, dual services between um, freight service and passenger service. Uh, number 2716 and its classmates were retired from revenue service in 1956 and was donated to the 
Kentucky Railway Museum in New Haven, Kentucky in 1959. The 2016 has been operated or has been restored to operation service twice since its retirement from the CNO. First in 1981 for the Southern Steam Program, uh, dressed up as a uh, Southern Railway Berkshire, if they had purchased a Berkshire. That lasted till 1982, and again 1986 for a brief excursion for the Fort Wayne Historical Society in New Haven, Indiana. And the locomotive is going under extensive rebuild to operation conditions for a third excursion career under lease for the Kentucky Steam Heritage uh, Corporation. So we're going to go here and talk about, see the first, so the Southern, Southern Excursion Service uh, Run uh, in 1980, the 2716 was released to the was released to the Southern Railway to pull longer and heavier trains for their even po ever popular steam program. The uh, Southern Railway brought in locomotives to pull or brought the locomotive to their uh, steam locomotive workshop in Irondale, Alabama. After test runs on October the 10th and 11th of 1981, the 2716 pulled, 2716 pulled its first excursion train on October 17th and 18th, running a round trip from Chattanooga, Tennessee to Rockwood, Tennessee. In 1982, the locomotive resumed excursion duties, pulling trains through North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia. But three months later, a very Inexperienced firemen damaged the locomotive's firebox, resulting in number 2716 taken out of excursion services and replaced with number Nickel Plate Road number 765. Now, the second lease in life after the uh, Norfolk and Southern ended their steam program in 1994, the Fort Wayne Society. The owners of the Nickel Plate Road 765 moved 2716 to their facilities a year later on July of 1976. The Fort Wayne Historical Society restored the locomotive back to its original CNO appearance. Compared to Firebox, it operated in brief push and pull excursions between Logansport, Indiana, and Gilman, Illinois. That year, however, the federal the inspectors of the Federal Railroad Administration ordered the number 2716 to get new flues or a complete overhaul of 765, which resulted in the 2716 making its final run in October of 1996, and was later decide was, was decided to return number 2716 to its displaced site in, at the Kentucky Railway Museum in 2001. But the 2716 is not done there. On February of February 7th of 2016, the Kentucky Steam Heritage Course Corporation was formed and announced it had signed a long-term lease with the Kentucky Railway Museum to operate number 2716. By May of 2018, the KSHC partnership with CSX to move the locomotive to the Riviera, Kentucky shops where they just had purchased a new shop there to be restored. In March of as of March of 2022, uh, the KCHS exchanged with the PRM Railroad Museum in Colorado to swap out number 2016's non-functional air compressors with two fully functional air compressors off of Santa Fe class 2900. As of right now, the restoration is not complete on it, but hopefully they'll have it finished up sometime here soon. But once the uh, restoration is done, it's going to go to Connecticut to the or Notchatuck Railroad in Connecticut to run for a little bit up there. And I have two models of the Kanawa here, the MTH made 2716 and 2736. I'm still missing two. So once I get the other two, we'll make another video with the other two and do kind of a little bit of a part two on this. But 
we're going to go ahead and run these guys around the layout here so you guys get to watch the beauty run around and we'll stop back in with the wrap up <laughs> Now that you got to watch these guys run around the layout, I hope you really enjoyed this video. This is, the Carawas are one of my favorite type of steam locomotives. I'm a big CNO fan. Just love the low pilot mounted headlight uh, look, just like the Green Briars. But if you enjoy these types of videos, let me know in the comment section below. We'll do some more videos on types of classes, classes for one railroad, and so on and so forth. So you guys get to learn a little bit more history. I know you guys like these history videos. And I enjoy doing the history videos because it lets me retain a little bit of more information that I didn't know myself. So if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Hit that like button. Uh, and hit the subscribe button. And let me know in the comments below what kind of engine you want to see me touch on next. So thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time back at the attic.